Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will show you how you can get started with Easy FPS Editor. Okay, so first let's open open it. And then we need to create a new project. So let's create a new folder inside projects folder within the easy fps uh, editor directory and let's name it test for tutorials tutorials <laughs> okay and now we created the project it's also really important that there are no spaces um, in the project's name because then the test game function with, will not work Okay, now we need to create a level. For this we go to the maps tab here and select create new map. Let's enter a name, level 1, save and here we are inside the editor. What you might want to do first is to import some textures. And you can do so with the button Import Resources. Click here, Import Textures. And now you can select if you want your texture to be a wall or a floor. For this uh, video, I have um, downloaded two wooden textures. And we will take this one as a floor, uh, as a wall, and the other one as a floor. Of course, you can also highlight multiple textures and then put it in. Okay, accept. And now we go to tiles, select our wall, and we start painting. By the way, you can. Uh, pan around in your editor by mouse scrolling. Okay, so let's build our first area here. And let's build a floor too. You notice that the wall is highlighted red. So you can always easily um, make out the difference. Let's put in a small ale here, hallway. Okay. Also, you want to place a start marker for the player. For this, you need to go to objects, select the player start marker, and yeah, put it basically anywhere you want to. Let's place it here. And let's test our game. And this is our game menu. This is all uh, stock uh, images. You can of course edit it later. And this is how our level looks at the moment. We have a wooden floor wooden wall, there's no skybox, you can also put in skyboxes. Okay, so what you might want to do next is to create a roof. For this we exit the game again and up here we select floor 2. And we now build on top of the first layer. So let's create another set of walls. Uh, with left click you can paint and with right click you can delete which is really handy and now we create the third floor and paint a floor texture on top of everything
Okay. And now let's get back to the first floor. And maybe you want to have some light sources. You can do so by uh, going to the objects tab and then place down a few lights. And you can also place uh, health items. These are the default ones. You can also edit uh, the images to have like painkillers or something else. Whatever, whatever fits your game. Okay, so the player cannot collect these because we are at full health at the moment. But if we are to take damage, we can go back here and select these apples to gain health again. The whole level is pretty bright at the moment. Let's change that. The ambient color tells the game what yeah, ambient lighting you want to have in your game. So let's put it to a really dark color, like almost black. You can see it's a dark tint of gray basically. And let's test again, see the changes. And as you can see, it's much darker. And by pressing F, you also have a flashlight in the game, which is really cool. Okay, so that's it for the first tutorial. I will show you, of course, more features in the next video. See you next time. Bye bye.